Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to all and enjoy the class on types of non probability sampling. Here we discuss the different type of non probability sampling. First one convenient sampling, judgmental sampling or judgment sampling, quota sampling, expert sampling and snowball sampling. Now discuss briefly one after another. First, non-probability sampling. What is non-probability sampling? Non-probability sampling is a sampling technique in which unit of the sample are selected on the basis of personal judgment or convenience. Non-probability sampling is a sampling method in which not all members of the population have an equal chance of participating in the study, unlike probability sampling. Researcher Jakhon Kono Population theke data ke select um, sample ke select korar jonno personal judgment use kore thake shei poddhoti ke amra non probability sampling boli onno bhabe non probability sampling er khetre prottekta elements ke power sambhavona Jodi equal na thake, takhon shei poddhuti ke amra non probability sampling bolli. Non probability sampling ke amra ekhane pasta groupe bhag koresi. Convenient sampling, judgment sampling, quota sampling, expert sampling and snowball sampling. First on convenient sampling. A convenient sampling, also called accidental sampling, is a type of non-probability sampling method where the sample is taken from a group of people easy to contact or to reach. For example, standing at a mall or a grocery store and asking the people to answer questions would be an example of convenient sample. Second, judgment sampling. Judgment sampling, a type of purposive sampling occurs when units are selected for inclusive or inclusion in a study based on the professional judgment of the researcher. For example, if a teacher has to select five students from his department for participation in inter-university competition, he cannot use a random sampling method. In this case, he will use her own judgment to select those five students from the department. This is judgmental sampling. Researcher Jokon data collect korar khetre sample ke professional judgmental bhittite select kore thake shei khetre Researcher, je poddhoti bhabhar kore, taake aamra judgment sampling bole thaki. Quota sampling. Quota sampling is an important sampling method which involve a non-probability sampling technique in which sampling process 
the researcher decide the selection of sampling based on some quota in quota sampling the researcher makes sure the final sample must meet his quota criteria for example let us assume that we need know about the career goal of university students more particularly the difference in the career goal among the fresher junior and senior students are to be examined suppose the concerned university contain 10000 students and take can be taken as our population now we have to decide our population of 10000 student into categories such as fresher junior and senior and taken a test and finally select 3000 freshers 2500 junior student and 2000 senior student that means 30% of the population is fresher 25% of the population is junior student and 20% of the population is senior student if the sample is 1000 student then must consider 300 freshers 250 junior or 200 senior is equal basis this is called quota sampling expert sampling expert sampling is a type of non probability sampling technique that is used when a researcher need to gain special knowledge from the individual that have particular expertise যখন রিসার্চার কোনো পার্টিকুলার এক্সপার্ট বিষয়ে কোনো তথ্য কালেক্ট করতে চায় সেই ক্ষেত্রে এক্সপার্ট যে যে বিষয়ে সেই পার্সনের কাছ থেকে যদি ডাটা কালেক্ট করা হয় দিস ইজ কল্ড এক্সপার্ট স্যাম্পলিং অ্যান্ড লাস্ট ওয়ান স্নোবল স্যাম্পলিং স্নোবল স্যাম্পলিং is the process of sampling a sample using network for example people who have many friends are more likely to be recruit into the sample when virtual social network are used then this technique is called virtual snowball sampling যদি রিসার্চার সোশ্যাল নেটওয়ার্ক ব্যবহার করে ডাটা কালেক্ট করে থাকে সেই ক্ষেত্রে এই পদ্ধতিকে আমরা স্নোবল স্যাম্পলিং পদ্ধতি বলে থাকি এখানে উদাহরণ হিসেবে বলা হয়েছে যে প্রথমে একজন ব্যক্তিকে সিলেক্ট করা হয় এবং তার কাছে থেকে কোশ্চেন কালেক্ট করা হয় এবং সেই ব্যক্তি পরবর্তীতে দুইজনের কাছ থেকে তথ্য কালেক্ট করে এবং এই পরবর্তীতে এই দুইজন ব্যক্তি ছয়জনের কাছ থেকে তথ্য কালেক্ট করে পুনরায় এই ছয়জন আরও ভিন্ন ভিন্ন লোক পার্সনের কাছ থেকে তথ্য কালেক্ট করে থাকে দিস সিস্টেম দিস প্রসিডিওর দিস টেকনিক ইস কল্ড স্নোবল স্যাম্পলিং টেকনিক আন্ডার নন প্রোবাবিলিটি স্যাম্পলিং ম্যাথড